The Irish Setter, also known as Red Setter, is a very fast and agile pointing and retrieving dog. In the past, it was preferred for hunting ducks, partridges, pheasants and snipes in swampy terrain. Today they are usually family and companion dogs. History and Origin of the Irish Setter Originated in Ireland, the dog descends from the Irish Red and White Setter, which is a breed of its own. It is thought that the origin of both breeds goes back to the 17th century and that English setters and pointers were involved in the development of the breeds. For a long time, the Irish Red and White Setter was more popular and it was not until the end of the 19th century that people began to prefer the pure red variety. Appearance of the Irish Setter the breed standard stipulates a height at the withers of 58 to 67 cm for males, while females may be slightly smaller with a shoulder height of 55 to 62 cm. The weight is not fixed and is around 25 to 34 kilos, depending on the sex. The dog's life expectancy is around 12 to 15 years. The dog's red coat is officially called chestnut brown or chestnut red, and white patches are only permitted on the forehead, chest, neck, chin, nose, muzzle and toes. The coat is dense, smooth and close-fitting. While the fur on the body is short to medium long, it hangs down in long fringes on its belly, backs of the legs and on the tail, chest and throat. Temperament and training of the Irish Setter Although this pointing dog was originally intended for hunting, they are now much more suited to being at home with the family. They are balanced and sensitive dogs whose strong urge for movement is often mistaken for nervousness. It is best to start patiently training them as early as possible. In open terrain, red setters move elegantly and with their heads held high. As soon as their perfect sense of smell picks up a scent, they crouch and seem to crawl ahead. Finally, without making a sound, they pause, lift a front leg and angle it. In this way they show the hunter that they have discovered something. The dogs are very good-natured and open-minded towards strangers. For this reason they are not suitable as watchdogs because they would probably excitedly greet every intruder. But it is precisely these character traits, coupled with their friendliness around children, that make Irish setters loyal and loving family dogs. They also get on well with other pets. Exercise and care of the Irish Setter The dogs love to accompany their owners when jogging, riding or cycling. Even bad weather does not bother them too much. Preferably, they should live in a house with a large garden where they can exercise to their heart's content. Irish Setters are quite robust and rarely get sick. However, they can sometimes suffer from hip dysplasia epilepsy, stomach twists and cancer. Their long floppy ears are particularly sensitive and, like their paws, need special care to prevent inflammation. To avoid their shiny coats getting matted, they need to be brushed daily. A brush is suitable for the shorter parts of the coat, while the long fringes are better worked through with a comb.